Hey guys, welcome back to All on Law. And today's topic of discussion is important CD cell count levels. CD4 cells. So this is really very important for USMLE Step 1 examination or for any other medical board entrance examination. So before starting a discussion, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So let me quickly tell you about the brief important points that you should remember. What is the normal value of CD4 counts? Normal value of what you call more normal labels of uh, CD4 counts, normal labels, and um, and what are the clinical conditions it's associated with? Because this is really very important for your USML step one examination or for a step two CK because you have to diagnose the disease based on the labels of CD4 count. Okay, so let's talk briefly. In the CD4 count, CD4 count, if the cell count is uh, from 700 to 1500, the 1500, the levels what you call V as a normal. Okay, guys? So, for example, if the levels are below 500, that's 200 to 500, then we call it as uh, then the, the the diseases we can expect in these especially you see this kind of cd4 cell count in uh, hiv patients okay so the uh, the diseases that can be seen in these patients when the cd4 count is below 500 that's 200 to 500 it's a oral thrush oral thrush Kaposi's sarcoma, tuberculosis, and zoster infection. Okay, guys. So remember, if the cell 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 count is below five hundred, there's a two hundred to five hundred. Then the conditions, the diseases are associated are um, oral thrush. Kaposi sarcoma, tuberculosis, and zoster infection. Okay, guys. If the cell four count, CD four count is below two hundred, that's a hundred to two hundred. And the, what are the conditions? What are the diseases that you expect in these patients? The opportunistic infections. Okay, are pneumocystis carne pneumoniae, PCP. Okay. And the other important thing is dementia. Okay, so remember, if the cell for CD4 count is below 200, that's 100 to 200. Um, the infections, the opportunistic infections are PCP, that is uh, pneumocystis, carne pneumonia, and dementia. Okay, and if it's below 100. If it's below 100 but more than 50, then you see three important infections that is toxoplasmosis. Okay, then we have cryptococcus infection. Okay, then we have cryptosporidosis. Cryptosporidosis. Sporidosis. Okay, and if and if what you call uh, if the levels are below fifty, then you will have the other infections like CMV, cytomegalovirus infection, MAC, and progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, and this is really very important because you need to diagnose whether the HIV patient is uh, suffering from a PMLE or lymphoma. Because in your similar examination, they will give you the CAT scan of the head or a brain, and you, you ask you to differentiate or ask you to the diagnosis uh, whether it's lymphoma or whether it's uh, what you call um, PMLE. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is really very helpful for your USML examination. And thank you so much. If you like the video, please thumb up and please do share our videos with